We are testing the firebox and the wonder bag for some off-grid cooking fun today. the vegan prepper here outside testing some off-grid cooking methods. I am going to be working on my firebox stove to get some beans to a boil and then put them in the wonder bag and see if they will cook. So this is just testing uh, cooking methods without power and um, yeah I guess let's get right into it. So I have done a preload on the firebox. Um, well, actually, Mr. Vegan Prepper did the preload, <laughs> but uh, he cut some wood for me to put in there. And so we're going to be testing a preload as well, which is just sort of stuffing the firebox. Uh, I I was wanting more of a Swedish candle style, but we just sort of don't have the right wood for that right now. So. Hopefully this works well and it will give me enough fuel to finish my cooking without having to bother with reloading it. And then over here, we have got um, my cast iron Dutch oven, uh, one of them. And this is uh, two pounds of pinto beans, an onion, some garlic, some bay leaves, and some chili flakes, of course, because uh, spice is life and right there is my wonder bag which is essentially a portable slow cooker so I will bring this to a boil and let it cook for a good 10 or 15 minutes and then plop it into that wonder bag and leave it for a few hours and see what happens so I guess I will go ahead and get this onto the firebox okay so we've got it on there and uh, Mr. Vegan Prepper helped me to ensure that it is um, centered and obviously there's a lot of smoke so this is a real grid down situation um, and you wouldn't want to bring attention to yourself unfortunately this would not be the method but we're just gonna say practice this way one time around and so I've got my bottles over here these are bottles that we reuse over and over and over and over again um, and just refill them with filtered water from the Berkey so I'm gonna go ahead and get water into here before it gets too hot and I am looking at filling. Yeah, I think that that should be good. Give it a really good amount of water over the beans. Yeah, watch out, baby. It's hot. Don't touch anything. Don't touch any of this. It's very hot. Um, and so, yeah, that looks like a really good amount of water covering those beans. So I'm kind of doing like a full test because these are also unsoaked um and I thought oh I'd soak them or whatever but I, I want to see really what is that what will that wonder bag do will it do unsoaked beans even though I like to soak my beans before I cook them um at this point we've been vegan so long that our digestion doesn't really get upset by beans uh but anyway we'll we'll see and so um the other thing is this is two pounds of dried pinto beans so I didn't want to do just like a little test. I wanted to do like a real family size. Oh <laughs> gosh, I'm getting smoke in my face. A real family sized food test. So yeah, we'll see you in a little bit, I guess, once this comes to a boil. I'm also going to time how long it takes for it to come to a boil. Okay, we have wet firewood and I don't know how that even happened. It's been on the patio. And that's like one of the main benefits of living here is everything is always dry. But you can see there's condensation coming off of the bottom of the pan <laughs> because we are burning wet firewood. But anyway, regardless, it's still burning very well. Everything is getting extremely hot. Like it's already super hot, like eight inches away from the thing. And so hopefully this will boil pretty quick. I have the lid on here so that I can kind of test it myself to see if it's hot yet, but also be because um, the lid itself is solid enamel cast iron. And I have noticed when I'm cooking inside, um, if I'm cooking something like quinoa or rice or something that you boil and then let simmer or you have to take off heat um, and you put the lid on, uh, I've noticed a couple of times when I was cooking inside that putting the lid on after I was done cooking uh, and then I would set the timer, uh, stuff would not be cooked. And it occurred to me finally, like, I think the lid is conducting or leaching the heat away from the big pot. And so, um, 
that was kind of my idea. So now I purposefully put the lid on to get it nice and hot while cooking is going on and kind of uh, deal with it that way. And then when I have set it off to simmer, um, everything is cooked and it's good. So that's what I'm doing here is making sure that the lid gets nice and hot, but I guess also protecting from smoke and particulate matter and whatnot. <laughs> um, and also just as an FYI, uh, like I said, this is an enamel cast iron oven. I got it on Facebook Marketplace for only about $30. So if you're in the market for a nice cast iron Dutch oven, uh, Facebook Marketplace is a resource or like a Craigslist or something. You can possibly find one used for a very good price. And I guess that's all. So I'll come back hopefully when it's nice and hot and boiling. Oh, it's already getting warm. That's It's incredible how fast this is happening. <laughs> all right. All right, so this is the spot on my counter where I'm going to get this thing set up. And so this is actually the lid. Um, and so what you do with this thing is uh, you don't want the inside to get burned. So you put a little trivet down to protect the bottom of the bag from the, the super hot part of the pan. But then uh, because this is surface washable but not really machine washable, I'm going to also lay a cloth in. These are actually these are old um cloth diaper flats um but we're gonna lay this cloth in I'm well I'll get it set up maybe when I'm not trying to hold the camera and um put my pot on top of this inside the wonder bag to protect it from the soot which is hopefully to protect from the soot which is surely going to be there um after cooking over an open fire and so that is what I've got going on in here and I'll go back outside to check the beans all right, so I'm gonna check the status of what's going on in here. Oh, it's definitely not a boil, but man, it's hot. Oh, it smells good, huh? We did it. Oh wow, that's awesome. Sorry, I'm not I'm not doing a very good job of doing the camera work. Yeah, I hope that we'll still end up getting a boil. So we've got some really hot coals underneath now. The fire has gone out, um, as far as I can tell, and we're just, we're doing coals now. So um, it's definitely more pleasant <laughs> than um, the horrible smoky fire was. So yeah, getting these nice hot coals in there. And that's one of the advantages of the, uh, the vertical pack um, with the Swedish candle but then also apparently just with our <laughs> vertical random pack of the firebox, um, it burns through and then you end up creating this huge array of gorgeous coals for cooking your food. So it was a bit um, difficult at first, but now, man, it's pretty great. Actually, just right here again, it's just like so hot back here. So much radiant heat. This is kind of amazing. All right. Okay, so um, it looked like the coals were... I don't know, they weren't like dying, but Mr. Vegan Prepper offered his opinion that he didn't think that it was gonna be enough to bring this to a boil and then keep it at a boil for a good 15, 20 minutes. And so we're feeding some more wood in. And that's another great thing about this thing is that you can just like feed from the side. So I don't have to pick the pot up. So as long as your pieces of wood are small enough, you just stick them right through the holes. We've got two holes on the fire box. And so that's pretty great. Okay, we've got major steam and good smells. Oh, yep, that is a boil officially. So I have to look at what time it is because we want it to boil for like 15 or 20 minutes um, before we go stick it in the Wonder Bag. This is so cool. Um, I forgot to mention um, that you can also, if you had this little flap, there's a flap on the firebox. If you had that open, you could side load or top load um, more wood that's kind of slightly larger but I just happen to already have a whole bunch of tiny pieces because you know I use it like this so anyway yeah so we did have to load some more wood in um, but it's not that big of a deal and it looks like we are legitimately cooking actual food on this thing not just like little little bits here and there for fire night so anyway awesome we are pretty close to being done, just a few more minutes, and this thing is just performing very well. Um, little note on loading, um, like kind of especially with smaller pieces of wood is, and obviously normally I'm doing this two-handed, but um, to get the wood in, 
and then use another piece to push it in because this thing is just, I don't know if I could ever express just how hot this thing gets and just how hot it is right now. Um, but yeah, just make sure to be safe. And that's it. Okay, here it goes. It's been boiling for about 20 minutes outside. And so there it went. Um, hopefully it's kind of, we might need to center it a little bit, but basically um, this is it. And we'll get it centered and I'll show you closing the thing up. Okay, so then basically you just put the lid right on top and get this thing up around and cinch it closed. Sorry, I keep having a horrible angle. It's hard to, you know, do it and film it at the same time. Having a helper is nice. And so it's going to sit here now for, I don't know, probably at least four or five hours, maybe more like six because the beans were not soaked. So I might leave it a little extra. Um, and then we'll bust into it and see what we have got. Exciting. Nice. There it is. Okay, it's been about six hours, so let us check on these beans and see what is going on in here. Holy crap, it is still hot in here, but obviously not too hot to touch. So let's see what's going on. Oh my gosh, it is. It is too hot to touch. That's funny. That was just because I was touching the cloth, not the actual pan. Oh no, I'm gonna get, I need a trivet for that. Okay, just a second. Okay, now, let me get my, oh, look at that, it is still steaming. Oh, okay, let's check this out. Oh, it smells incredible. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells incredible. Let's see here against the side of the pan. That is a squished bean. Oh my gosh. Check that out. Now I'm like, I'm going to try to fish that out without, um, oh gosh, I should have just like gotten a regular spoon. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm not <clears throat> very put together on this one. I, um, I just finished a live, my herbal live. So let me taste these and see if it's good. All right, hold on. I just draw my spoon into the pan. All right, here I am. Okay. Let me see. Those are done beans. Mmm. It's good. Wow. It's very good. Um, they are absolutely 100% fully cooked. Um, no doubt about it. Um, and, but what's nice too, though, is that they're not overly mushy. So a lot of times, um, when you cook beans, they end up like overly mushy. These are not. So this might be the new favorite way to cook beans, but these are fantastic. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. So imagine had they been soaked beforehand, I probably could have looked at like four hours instead, but these are still very hot and absolutely ready to go. All right, we're going to dig into this. And so I guess the the conclusion is it worked. So yay, <laughs> yay. Um, Firebox and Wonder Bag. So anyway, there you go. I guess that's it. So as always, I hope the rest of your day is good and your life stays wonderful. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.